be surprised to hear who's applied for 40 retail sportsbook licenses that are now available in Ohio. They include people you might expect, like the Cincinnati Reds, FC Cincinnati, and Hard Rock Casino. But it also includes a fireworks store in Youngstown and a honky-tonk bar in Butler County. I-Team reporter Dan Monk explains why this country music hotspot wants in on the action. You're looking at the Wall of Fame here at Lori's Roadhouse in Westchester. Just some of the country acts that have played here over the last nine months. Clay Walker appearing next week. In the future, however, you could see sports betting kiosks and a wall of TVs. Lori's Roadhouse wants to add a retail sports book right here in this space. I think sports betting is going to be a great amenity for our guests here, but we already have, you know, a very robust business. Tyler Wogenstall is a managing partner in the Westchester Bar that can seat up to 2,200 people for a concert. We're in the hospitality business, the amenity business, and we feel that it's just going to add another amenity to Butler County. Ohio is offering up to 40 licenses for retail sports books that would be similar to the Barstool property in Dearborn County. <laughs> John Michael Montgomery, he's had a lot of different hits over the years. Lori's Roadhouse is among 25 applicants so far, including six in southwest Ohio. The list is dominated by sports teams and casino companies, and that kept some bars and restaurants from applying. The answer is we don't really know what the competitive landscape's going to look like. Dr. Kamal Morar owns a Dayton company called RightBet. It recently advised a Kettering restaurant not to pursue a retail sportsbook license for now. If you start looking at the logistics of this, uh, we don't really see how any independent restaurant bar owner would be able to do this all on their own. Lori's Roadhouse is close to finalizing a management contract with a sportsbook operator. It plans to double employment to more than 100, so it can be Butler County's only licensed sportsbook operator on January 1st. Like any business, I think we're gonna have to grow it. I think Ohio's gonna have to grow their sports betting business. And if we do that, and we do it well, and we provide good hospitality for the people around Butler County, I think we'll do well. In Westchester, Dan Monk, WCPO9 I-Team.